Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Patrick McCarthy, who is the Executive Director of the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Dr. McCarthy, it is, as always, great to see you again. We've known each other for 15 years. You are one of the most beloved surgeons in our community with over 200 patient recommendations. Yes. It is great to see you here at SDS. All right. Thanks for having me, Adam. Yeah, so while there's all these great research presentations and data being shared among the physicians here at SDS, we are getting patient questions coming at us from all over the world. And this one, given your background and your skill with reoperative patients, would be really helpful for Lynn. And she asks, if a person has had two open heart surgeries to replace the aortic valve and has significant scar tissue, can they have the less invasive third replacement surgery? So it's a really good question. And it's a kind of a tricky problem when patients form scar tissue, it slows down the operation. You know, we have to be really careful because we can't see exactly where the plane is. We call it the difference between scar tissue and like the aortic wall or parts of the heart. So we have to slow down. You can certainly do less invasive as in TAVR, the transcatheter treatment. And in many of those patients, in fact, that might be the preferred option would be to avoid another open heart operation. You can sometimes do the less invasive small incision uh, and do the open heart operation with it. But again, it needs to be a very kind of careful, controlled procedure to do that. So can be done isn't done all that often, but can be done in some situations. Very helpful, Dr. McCarthy. Quick follow-up, I'm sure patients might be wondering, when you say that scar tissue slows you down, what specifically in terms of time and what you're doing as you are being slowed down? Well, the scar tissue makes it difficult because it's like you put glue in there and so things get stuck together that aren't normally stuck together. And, you know, we need to have them separated as we're doing the surgery. And so we have to slow down and then we have to like uh, use an electrocautery or a scissors or something to separate things to put them back to the way that they're supposed to be. That's what adds time and that also can add to the risk for bleeding. So second, third, fourth, fifth operations can be trickier, slower, and a higher risk for bleeding. Yeah, which, which is a suggestion to anybody out there to make sure you find a specialist for reoperation techniques, is that correct? Correct, yeah, so there are uh, surgeons that do a lot of these type of operations. You know, we this is our routine at Northwestern and many of the big programs, um, but others just may not see it all that often and so, and, oftentimes that they will actually refer the patient out. Right, well, Lynn, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me and Dr. McCarthy on behalf of Lynn, the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com and patients all over the world. Thanks for everything you and your team are doing at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago. Thanks for being here today. Thank you, Adam, and thanks for all that you do for the patients. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.